We're at Brewery Omegang, just five minutes outside of the center of Cooperstown, nestled in the beautiful farmlands of central New York. This area actually used to be a hops farm, so it's fitting that it's now home to one of the state's most renowned craft breweries. There's so much to learn about here at Omegang, so let's head on into the visitor center and get started. Brewery Omegang was founded in 1997 by husband and wife team Don Feinberg and Wendy Littlefield. The couple started out by importing Belgian beer and eventually had the idea that they'd like to try brewing Belgian styles in New York State. Now, the name Omegang comes from a Belgian festival that translated literally means to walk around. Walking around the grounds on my way over to the visitor center, it's difficult not to be impressed with how their vision has taken shape over the past 20 years. Many people give Omegang the credit for almost single-handedly introducing New York to Belgian styles of beer. I wanted to talk with head brewer Phil about exactly what defines their beer. Omegang is known for Belgian style beers. Right. To help people understand, what, what are some of the differences between a Belgian uh, beer and an American beer? To me, what Belgians bring to the world of beers is very microorganism driven beers. They're unique Saccharomyces yeast strains, typically can produce a lot of fruity esters. I can tell when I'm drinking a Belgian beer, I can pick up uh, notes of clove or banana that's going to yeah. be from the yeast that's used. Talk me through this beer here. Well, this is our take on a, uh, a traditional Belgian wit white beer. Uh, goes back centuries. We use some raw wheat as well as malted wheat, also barley malt, of course. Uh, we also use a little bit of oats to give it like a little bit of a creaminess to it. Yeah, there is like a substantial body on that. Yeah, uh, has like a softness, like a soft cre creaminess. And the classic ingredients in this style is orange peel and coriander. Our philosophy with spicing is just below the surface, so you, you know something is there, but it's, you can't put your finger on it, mm -hmm. but it's adding something to the beer. That's the level of spicing we strive for. And those fun ingredients like orange peel and coriander, I mean, that, that's more common in, in Belgium. Yeah, yes. Going back to what makes Belgian beers unique is also typically the bottle carbonations, very high, some up to four volumes, whereas like a, a typical American beer would be like 2.6, 2.7 volumes. So that can be a real characteristic of Belgian styles is a higher carbonation from the bottle. Mm. And Brewery Omegang bottles a lot of beer. Most of the beer is packaged in Belgian style bottles, which are the same size as a wine bottle. And just like champagne, these extra fizzy adult beverages are stopped with a cork. To help achieve a higher CO2 volume, the beer goes through a process called bottle conditioning, where a little additional yeast and sugar is added right before the bottle is sealed. This results in one last bump in fermentation, producing a little more alcohol, some additional flavor, and some extra carbon dioxide. Bottle conditioning can be tough on yeast, so Omegang employs yet another special technique in the process called open fermentation. Open fermentation is a traditional method of making beer in an open vat instead of the more modern closed container. Phil isn't as interested in producing beer this way as he isn't collecting the yeast that is produced in the process. The white foam you can see on top is yeast. By fermenting in a large open vat, he can skim the healthy yeast directly off the top and put it in bottles for conditioning. This way he's able to ensure that only the strongest yeast is used. All of these small details have helped Omegang create a reputation for their beer across the United States. They even scored a partnership with HBO to promote a little series called Game of Thrones. Ever heard of it? I asked publicity manager Allison Capoza to help explain it to me. A lot of people know Omegang through the Game of Thrones beers. What makes Omegang such a great fit for that series? I think in terms of being very high quality beer matched with a very high quality show and also our look and feel, it's a little bit medieval-esque. And I know some of these recipes for the Game of Thrones beers are really creative. Can you tell me about some of those? We've used de-seeded ancho chilies to represent the dragon's fire. We've used spelt in one of the beers, which would have been kind of like a grain that a nomadic tribe might have. Are all the brewers required to watch it? such a good show, everybody here is a fan. And many of the people here were fans long before the tie-in. So people tell me that when someone comes to Oma Gang, they just get it. What does that mean? Have you ever tried to explain the Grand King into someone who hasn't been there? It's kind of like that with Oma Gang. You can drink the beer in a bar anywhere across the country. You can see pictures of the brewery, but it's not really until you're here on the grounds, meeting the people, experiencing what we've built here, then you get the magic that's Oma Gang. Belgium comes to Cooperstown, the annual event. Tell me how that started. 
Belgium Comes to Cooperstown is our annual beer festival, which actually started as a way to introduce Belgian culture, like flag throwing and riding on horses to the local community. And then it kind of morphed into this beer festival. And how many breweries come to that event? About 75, as many as 100, depending on the year. Everybody who comes brings a Belgian-style beer, ah. um, but then they can bring something that's definitely not Belgian. You must have best friend breweries that come here every year. We do. Uh, there's breweries that come every single year. They always camp in the same spot. They always deck out their campsites in the most outrageous ways possible. Maybe a hot tub, maybe a, a big screen with a movie playing. Kind of never know what you're going to find. It's just about 3,000 tickets every year. They sell out immediately, but we think that that's a good size for the space. You're guaranteed to come and not have to wait in long lines to get a beer. It's one big beer festival, kind of little mini festivals going on all around you, be it in the beer tent or the live music or Elvis's coming in on a parachute. So it kind of depends on the theme of the year, so you just never know what you'll find here. With my interest fully peaked, I decided to come back a couple weeks later to experience everything Belgium Comes to Cooperstown, also known as BCTC, had to offer. I'm here at BCTC 2016 at Brewery Omegang. It is a beautiful summer day. I can see hop farms, thousands of people sampling beer from 60-something breweries. I've got my tasting glass and I'm ready to have some fun. So let's go. For this year's theme, Oma Gang decided to honor one of America's great comedic actors, Bill Murray. And as in years past, they were playing it up with numerous references to classic Murray films like Ghostbusters sprinkled throughout the festival. They even have an authentic Ecto-1 car from Ghostbusters. So cool. Even some of the attendees got into the spirit of things. And some you wish hadn't. Rumor had it that Murray might make an appearance and mingle with the crowd, so I went to track him down. Have you seen Bill Murray walking around yet? I have not. Have you guys seen Bill Murray around yet? Hey, do you, do you guys know where Bill Murray is? No. Hey, do you know where Bill Murray is? I haven't right seen him. Right here. But, Bill? Oh, it's Bill Murray. That's Bill Murray there. <laughs> no, it wasn't. But eventually, I did find him. Sort of. Oh well, even without a celebrity appearance, you couldn't beat the vibe at BCTC, or the beer. BCTC was the perfect way to round out my first brewery Omegang experience. I've always been a fan of their beer, but now, having seen it for myself, I can truly say that I've come to appreciate all that Omegang means to the local area and the larger craft beer community, and I cannot wait to come back again.